one. It's Mad Men Sports. What's going on, gentlemen? How are you? Diamond Dave. Big game this past week. Yeah, with new additions, new friends, old friends coming back to new. Zach, what's up, brother? Not much, not much. Uh, bills are 10 and 3. Gosh. What more could you ask for? Um, no snow on Saturday. But before we get into that, uh, make sure to comment your score prediction uh, in the comments below to win an autographed football. Uh, un- unknown. Mystery ball. Mystery ball. Still. No one knows who's on it. We've had some close guesses. We've had James Marsh. Uh, get it this week, King. So, what do we want to talk about? There's a rather big game this week coming up. Dare I say Red the, the, will be the biggest one. game to date? To date, yes. It's the biggest game because it's the next game. Lost a little Damn. luster with the Dolphins losing to the Chargers. Yeah. Uh, means a lot less than it would have, but it's still important nonetheless. You win this game, you clinch a division spot, or uh, you clinch the playoff spot, so that's important. Yeah. Um, can't take away from an 11-3 and three team then, you know what I mean? Get to 11-3 and three at all costs. Uh, Dolphins coming into the game eight and four, um, or uh, five. Right, they lost five. No, Bills are ten and three, so they are eight and four. Eight and five, I believe. They might be eight and five. Yeah. Yeah, thirteen. Perfect. Yeah, eight and five. So they're eight and five. Uh, you lo- you beat them. They go down to eight and six. You win one more game. You win the division. Simple as that. I'm excited. Uh, Tyree Kill. Got banged up in the other game. Sounds like he's perfectly fine. It's going to be a good game there. Tua has had his worst games back-to-back. Coming into this game, they had a week. At, they had spent the week on the West Coast. Came back this week. Short week coming back. Flying into Buffalo on Friday. Now let's talk about the fact that they've had heaters in their, on their stands uh, in 55-degree weather. Yeah, they might have a rude awakening when it's uh, you know 20-something in Buffalo on Saturday. And they're calling for a foot of snow, so... We've got some uh, things on our hands here. Time to roll, baby. It's Buffalo Bills football, whether you like it or not. This is an old-fashioned Rex Ryan grounded pound game, if I may. James Cook. Good thing James Cook and Devin Singletary seem to be in a good spot. We have the better running quarterback. Uh, Cole Beasley's back. Cole Beasley's back? Cole Beasley is back. Huh. So we've got some positives rolling right now. Interesting. Yeah. Cole Beasley's back. John Brown's back. They got the band back together. I don't know if. There is much more need to be said other than I'm glad he's back. Hopefully they get this in the right direction. The is that a good or bad thing that Josh Allen requested this? It's a good thing. It's a good thing to listen to the quarterback, but it's not a good thing he doesn't trust what we have. I think it's important to be make serious. sure that you're safe. It's important to be safe. And Josh Allen's job is to make sure you can get the ball to someone safe. I'm all for it. I think this is a good move. I'm glad they did it. I think it's a failure on Brandon Beaton's part for the offseason. But he's got a whole nother offseason coming up to make that up to us. Or Isaiah McKenzie. When the though. card, you know, you can't predict injuries, but when the cards finally got laid down, mm-hmm. you don't have Von Miller for the playoffs and you have a terrible offense. So, I, or I, a lackluster offense. I think it means nothing for McKenzie. I think it just means Shakira's improvement goes on the back burner for now. No, I think Isaiah's. Done. I think Isaiah doesn't play anymore. But I also saw that today on the Tyler Dunn show, yesterday on the Tyler Dunn show, McKenzie said if the Bills won the Super Bowl this year, he's retiring and he was completely serious about that. It looks like his love of football is. Yeah, but do we really see much out of Cole? Because John, John Brown is, isn't doing much right now. He had a long uh, ball this past game. And he, he burned Sauce Gardner on that pass. He's still got it. Yeah, he's still got it. Uh, Cole Beasley is exactly what this offense is missing. Much more, much more so than John Brown. Cole Beasley, they need a guy to get the easy ones to. I hope he deletes his Twitter. but None of my business. I don't even care. I, I don't care about any of the off-field stuff for Cole Beasley whatsoever. Win a Super Bowl, I just don't care anymore. At all costs. You guys got score predictions this week? 45 to 10, per usual. Dave, how about you? Miami, Buffalo. Saturday night at primetime. 2016, game. Buffalo. 2016. I, I like the low scoring idea. Red Red Red. Um, I'll Red go Red. 21 Red. to th- 0. Whoa. Yeah, Bills put up a uh, goose egg on defense because it's called Trey White's back. You guys feel good about this game? Is, is he back, though? Yeah, yeah, he does look back. I think you guys are too hard on it. Go Bills. Go Bills. See you next week. A real quick 